We just wanted to welcome you on behalf of the Internet Caucus Advisory Committee and the Internet Education Foundation and the, and the chairs of the Internet Caucus who are here and they want to just extend uh, their welcome to you. Uh, I'm going to introduce Senator Leahy, who's like all senators on the run. Uh, he wants to say a few words to you, and then Senator Burns, and then we'll let you get back to enjoying uh, the party and the exhibit. Senator thank Leahy. You. Jerry, thank you very much. I, um, I apologize. I explained to Jerry I have, much as we all consider Jerry, our, Jerry Bourbon our highest calling, I actually have two higher. It's Ash Wednesday. I uh, promised the Cardinal I would be there uh, at Mass, but even more importantly, my wife's there, so I, I do have to leave on time. But I want to thank Jerry for his work and, of course, Tim Lorden for his work. And I was very pleased to see that we have connections with the American troops who are here with us, and I'm told that's University of Virginia and Freedom Calls who did that. I really appreciate that. I was just talking with... Um, uh, gunnery sergeant. I, was, I could say I could see him nodding over there. Talking, I was telling him and bragging on the fact that my youngest son uh, was a machine gunner when he was called in the Marines when he was called up for um, for Desert Storm. This is a a difficult time for our men and women over there. I, as you notice in the post this morning, my little state of Vermont is one of the two has one of the two highest number. Uh, people who are called up in the internet and the ability to be able to uh, correspond has been an amazing thing for the families and for the soldiers. Uh, it shows how good this this is. It shows also how the internet changes the way we do things. One of the things that Conrad Burns, uh, my good friend, will be going is going to be speaking next. Uh, one of the reasons this Internet Caucus has worked so well is it's been truly bipartisan or nonpartisan because the, the use of the Internet, the technology, is not something that's going to be dependent on either political party, but it's going to be dependent on what is best for all of us. Uh, it changes the way we do things. It creates new markets. It threatens existing markets, facilitates the protection of certain civil liberties, but then it gives powerful tools to those who would threaten our liberties. We've tried to balance that. Uh, we try to keep crime off the internet. We know that criminals will try to use it uh, any way they can. You have uh, phishing, for example, that's becoming extremely popular. We'll work at trying to keep people safe so the internet will thrive. We live in a surveillance society like never before. That raises real uh, concerns as we move further into this era, whether we change the Privacy Act or enact entirely new legislation. What do we do with voice over IP? It uh, challenges the existing uh, Telecommunications Act, but it is, opens up another chapter. That's why we need all of you. That's why we're so glad so many of the businesses have joined with us. I'm so glad that all of you have worked so hard. I know Jessica Berry in my office talks about all the people who have joined and, and connect with us in the Judiciary Committee. We'll continue to work with you. Please continue to work with us. And take a moment when you go home tonight, say a prayer for the brave men and women we have overseas representing all of us. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Go ahead, Senator. Thanks, Pat. You go meet your Cardinal. They didn't make the World Series this year. <laughs> the, um, um, us Lutherans, we don't have to worry about that. We just got to eat that lutefus, and that's worse than everything. But anyway, um, thanks, Pat. And, and um, listen, I tell you what, this morning we opened up the session with the, uh, with the uh, session down at the Hyatt Regency. Room full of people, and that was a big room. Uh, and uh, most of you, or some of you, were there uh, this morning, and, and I'm told it was very good. But Tim, uh, Lorden, where are you? Tim, uh, this guy works his fingers to the bones, and I was just wanting to put his hand in the air and be recognized, and I want everybody to give him a good round of applause because he has, he has done yeoman's work. 
He's still working somewhere. As he's probably still working, but this caucus continues to get bigger and bigger and bigger, and I think we got around 170 members now, and and uh, between the House and the Senate, it's probably the most active uh, caucus there is on, on the Hill. So uh, and and it's enjoyed tremendous support from our vendors and and sponsors uh, down through the years. This is our kickoff. It is February. And uh, and we've always the kickoffs have always kind of led to, to new ideas coming down the line. We all know what's ahead of us. Great challenges are ahead of us as this internet is used more and more by by not only uh, not only uh, our own families but also in business. We know that right now that we've got some great challenges ahead of us, and we're going to be working very hard to take care of those challenges: security, safety, uh, privacy. All of those things still face us. We cannot keep ahead of the bad guys. There are people out there that if they if they thought and done as much uh, just to do legitimate things, they'd probably make six million dollars. But they don't uh, they don't want to do that. They want to work outside the law, and we've got to stay ahead of them. So and and uh, we're, we're we'll continue that the the 1996 Act. We're going to take a look at it. And, we're, and we'll be in touch with each and every one of you. Everybody's got a, is a stakeholder in telecommunications because all of this is, is, is made possible through that, through telecommunications. Um, March the 9th, we'll be talking about RFID and, uh, of course, the, the security and we're, we're already visiting with ICANN and VeriSign and those people, uh, and trying to make things better. Earlier today, um, as you know, at the conference, I announced, uh, our agenda. And we hope it's on your radar screen also. Um, this year, we've always had, uh, we've always released our agenda, and we worked very, very hard in uh, in getting most of this work done. Now, we don't get everything every year because we, uh, but uh, they say, well, do you get everything done? I said, no, but we, uh, do you, and you do you get what you want? And I said, we don't always get what we want, but we want what we get, and uh, to make it right, and to make it, and to make it work. Spy block. Next generation E911 can spam implementation. We think there's some the things we can do to to cut back on this business of spam. Universal service reform. Now a lot of this is, has nothing to do with probably the people in this room, but universal service does, and uh, because it's important in, in rural areas. I can rural broadband. Our deployment and broadband going into areas now where we never thought we'd have broadband before. Most of it in the area of, of, of wireless technology, spectrum reform, and and digital digital technology or democracy and of course I want to mention uh, tonight our work with the US Asian Network um, we, we felt in our Pacific Rim our trading partners and our friends there as long as we do protocols and our and our systems to, to interoperate to communicate is very very important it's just not here in the United States it's international and and we have to work with our trading partners and our friends in the communications industry and especially in the internet moving not only video but data voice over ip and all of those so um, we're going to we're just going to and we're going to be dealing in this congress with a lot of security a lot of security because we know the importance of this internet how do we make it secure how do we make it safe so that's going to be kind of our agenda we want to thank you and old Jerry Berman over here. We worked him down. You know what? When we first started working on this thing, this guy weighed 243 pounds and, and he stood six foot three. <laughs> so we're grinding, <laughs> we're, grinding we're grinding him down. But, uh, but, but he believes in this thing because we think it's the cornerstone of democracy. And, uh, and all of us uh, here tonight believe in that and protect that. Uh, and of course, uh, I want to say hello to my Marine friends over there in Fallujah. Uh, I don't know what your serial number is, but mine's 1517385. I was an old corporal. I'd have made sergeant, but we got in a scrap with the Navy and we took a ship and found, later found out it was our ship. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, <laughs> those, those were, <laughs> yeah, you can relate to that. That gunny can do that. He, he can relate to that, but um, they do a great job over there. We've been over there a couple times, and and uh, they're, they're, they know what their mission is. And uh, I will tell you that last uh, and during the inaugural parade, a young man from Butte, Montana, was out at uh, was out at uh, 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 Naval Hospital in Bethesda, and we went out and got him, and we put him in that that six passenger Surrey, and we had five outriders. And he got to ride in the inaugural parade, and, and he was telling what great thrill it was when he went by the White House and got to wave at the president at the reviewing stand. 
If you'd have thrown those blankets back a little bit, you'd notice that uh, he didn't have any legs. And, uh, but but he was, his spirits were so high. And he told my wife, he said, I'm going to tell you something. Everything I want to do with my life, I can do. I just will not be able to run a lot of foot races. These young men and women, uh, knowing the mission and also knowing the risk, uh, are something that, that uh, we haven't seen in a long, long time. And they are a generation unto themselves. Because uh, in, in when we make that place free and safe, that just increases our, our ability to keep our people here in the United States safe. So they are, they are the point of the arrow. And they're the best ambassadors on the ground in Iraq that we have. So we thank you for what you're doing. Separify, Marine. And thank you very much. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you. Sir. Yes, sir. Please en enjoy the exhibits. We have our House uh, uh, chairs are backed up on votes in the House, and we're expecting uh, uh, Representative Goodlatte and uh, Representative Boucher uh, and perhaps a couple of others, and we may have to, when they arrive, we'll let them say a few words. But for now, back to the exhibits. Thank you very much.